Retro Rob's Gaming Videos. Hey Rob here, and here is the Quick Shot Maverick QS162 for the Sega Genesis. Take a look at that mighty beast. Yeah, this is made by Quick Shot, a company that's known for its quality. Not in the good way. That said, it's a fairly okay joystick, and we're going to go into it a little bit right now. But first, here's a picture of the QS162. Next to a sandwich that's left over from my lunch. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, so... Let's talk about this, shall we? The first thing you're going to notice is that there are two cords on this. Hey, by the way, let's segue, shall we? Uh, I hear a lot of people going, oh, you know, you can mod Genesis controllers to work on an Atari 2600. I literally have seen that in forums. You can mod a Genesis controller to work on the Atari 2600, or you can plug it in and play it. I, I don't know. Seriously, do I... You know what? I'm going to insert a video right here. I'm going to plug in <laughs> this controller and play it on my Atari 7800. Rob here, and I've got my Quick Shot controller for the Sega Genesis. Down there's an Atari. I'm gonna go plug this in, see what happens. I know what's gonna happen, it's gonna work. Here we go. Plugging it in. Turning it on. Spider Fighter, great game. Hit reset. Here we go. Look at that! It works perfectly! No modifications needed. I don't know how that rumor got around, but you can totally use it. No problem. As long as you don't mind using the center button as a fire. Alright, see ya. Oh no! No, seriously, folks, it works. So anyway, this works on the Atari 7800. Now, that I've been totally sidetracked, here's another picture of the quick shot. QS-162. Sitting on my bar next to a bottle of gin. Notice how the uh, red and blue and black cover of the QS-162 blend with my bar schema. Wow. And the suction cup grips keep it stuck firmly onto the bar, so even while I'm drinking, it will hold firm while I play a game. Where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cables. Cables. Notice that there are two cables. Two. Two cables on this device. <laughs> Jesus, really? Two cables on this device. Now, the reason for that is, if you look on the controller, and yes, I'll have a little picture up here, uh, there is a little slider that says player one and player two. So this can actually act as the player one joystick and the player two joystick if it's a game that would make you normally have two different controllers and you just have to flick a switch. I don't know how common this was needed because many games that would support that type of uh, two-player game would be the type that needed two controllers really at the same time as opposed to having them at two different times. So I don't really know what what the actual use for that is, but I will tell you this. In this next frame, you'll see that, indeed, it's able to work on a Retron 5 if you wanted to use this for two different players. And for whatever reason, 
the two different players had to be in two different ports. That's that's exciting. Yep. All right. So let's take another little closer look at this particular stick, shall we? All right. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, the quality is moderate. Uh, the stick itself isn't too bad. Actually, it feels pretty good. The buttons, yeah, they're pretty chintzy. I don't really like the layout. For me, it is very difficult uh, to get decent placement on them because my hands always feel really cramped up when I'm using them. Uh, they should, for me at least, be up here. By the way, there's other functions on this controller too. Uh, there is a turbo switch, so you can rapid fire. There is also right here a slow motion button. Basically what that is is it hits the pause button really, really, really fast. So uh, the idea is that it will slow down the game. Um, it's, I, I think it's an attractive looking controller. It's a nice one to keep on a shelf. That's probably the best place for it. That said, I think I said it earlier that uh, uh, if you're going to use it on your Atari, well, pretty much anything's better than the standard Atari joystick, and this is no exception. It's fairly durable. It's got that going for it. I have very seldom seen one of these broken, uh, which is why they're worth next to nothing, because most of them have survived. Uh, all in all, not the greatest controller in the world, but if you really need a game stick really, really bad, you could do worse than this. By the way, did I mention that it also has suction cups on the bottom? So you can stick it to a table. This stick feels dramatically, dramatically, not traumatically, dramatically better if you stick it on a table and use it that way. It is a much better stick. The only problem is your fingers aren't in the right place and the uh, the buttons are not really far enough apart for an arcade stick. So it's got that going for it. But you can get this for under $10. And because you can get this thing for under $10, makes it on the not too bad pile. I wouldn't go out of my way to get one, but if you see one at Goodwill for a few bucks, eh, go ahead, pick it up. I don't think you're gonna be too terribly disappointed because it's the quick, it's, you know, quick shot. It's not like you're gonna expect too much out of it. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Oh, comments below too. Don't forget. Really love this stick. Think it's the best thing ever. Think I'm full of crap? Mm, down there. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.